part two of three videos on how to conduct a TFI walkthrough. We will be demonstrating the teacher interview portion of the walkthrough. Hi, my name is Mike Morrow and I'm an external coach designated by the school district to support RTI2B implementation. Today, I'm at Bramble Middle School to conduct a TFI walkthrough to gather information. This will help the school's RTI2B team work together to complete their end of the year assessment the information gained today will be used to score specific features in the TFI to see how well the school is implementing Tier 1. So, I'm about to go out in the school and interview staff and students. With me, I'll be taking the observation form with the questions to ask staff and students and to record their responses. I've decided to go out in the school during transition for lunch so that I can easily and quickly conduct my random interviews. I'll start with the staff interviews and there will be three questions. Hey, Ms. O'Reilly, can I grab a minute of your time and ask you a couple questions? Sure, how can I help you? So my first question is, what are the school expectations? They bramble bees. Oh, okay. What are the bees? Be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. The objective of this question is to determine whether or not the staff knows the specific name you have adopted for the school-wide expectations. If the name is an acronym, they should be able to define the acronym. For example, a school uses their mascot, CUBS, for school rules. CUBS stands for Come to School, Use Responsibility, Be Respectful, and Safety First. In this video, the teacher, Miss O'Reilly's responses are recorded by the external coach, Mike Morrow, on the interview and observation form here. Specifically, this should be the number of expectations the staff member was able to name. So, second question. Have you taught the school expectations this year? Yes, I teach the expectations in the beginning of the year and after each break. That's awesome. The external coach, Mike Morrow, is only recording a yes or no here on the observation form. You may want to capture additional notes, like Miss O'Reilly teaching the school behavioral expectations after breaks, on a notepad for future use. So, last question. Have you given out any Bramble Bucks since last week? Yes, I give them out in the morning for students being responsible with all their material ready to go before the bell rings. I even gave out some this morning. Great. Hey, thanks a lot for supporting positive behavior at Bramble Middle School. That's really great. You're welcome. Again, you are only recording a yes or no here on the observation form. It may also be helpful to know if the teacher mentions if the reason for giving the reward was for appropriate behavior or potentially academics such as turning in homework, bringing pencil to class, etc. This can be useful information to the school leadership team to evaluate the distribution and reasons students are receiving rewards. Ideally, teachers are utilizing the school reward system for appropriate behavior. However, if students are receiving rewards for academic purposes, it is important information for the school leadership team. It could mean that reteaching of the reward system and behavior matrix could benefit all staff and students, to ensure everyone is implementing Tier 1 systems with fidelity. The focus of this question is to gauge the frequency of reward distribution for appropriate behavior, so the specific time frame in the question will change for your individual school. In this demonstration, we are encouraging teachers to give Bramble Bucks throughout the week, so we ask the teacher, have you given out any Bramble Bucks since last week? Now you've asked one teacher the three interview questions. You will repeat this process by randomly interviewing at least five staff members or 10% of the staff across the school's grade levels. Record all responses on the interview and observation form. This has been part two of three videos on how to conduct the TFI walkthrough tool. We just showed a demonstration of how to conduct the teacher interview of the walkthrough. Continue to the third video to see a demonstration of how to conduct the student interview portion of the walkthrough.